And first up, BMW have announced the serial production of a sports car with plug-in hybrid technology. In Germany, at the Leipzig Trade Fair Center, BMW presented a fully road-ready technology showcase vehicle based on the BMW Vision Efficient Dynamics concept study, which was first presented at the IAA in 2009. The concept study has overall system output of 328 bhp and an average fuel consumption in the EU test cycle of 3.76 litres per 100 kilometres. The Mercedes-Benz CLS shooting brake is going into production. As of 2012, the sporty four-door coupe with sloping tail end based on the CLS will roll off the assembly line and be launched onto the market. The fresh and exciting interpretation of the emotionally appealing coupe-based design had its premiere as a show car at Auto China in April. Now this insight by Mercedes designers into the possible future development of the coupe concept will become reality. Dr. Dieter Zuch, chairman of the board of Daimler AG and head of Mercedes-Benz car said, the decision to build the CLS shooting brake underscores the leading role of Mercedes-Benz in regards of innovative passenger car concepts and design, and that is exactly what the customers expect from us. What Car Magazine has won four awards, including outright victory in the inaugural RAC Future Car Challenge. Magazine editor Jim Holder was at the wheel of an all-electric Volkswagen Golf Blue E-Motion, which picked up the prize for the best overall entry. The What Car team enjoyed further success when Matt Sanger won the hybrid class in a Toyota Auris Hybrid. He also picked up the Toyota Nations Cup award. The aim of the challenge was to cover the 57 mile distance from Madeira Drive in Brighton to Pall Mall in London, consuming as little energy as possible. Volvo have released footage of their main testing facility at Hollerit, a fenced-in 7 million square metre area an hour away from Gothenburg, Sweden. The track stretches 26 kilometres, consisting of 15 different test tracks designed to simulate every type of road surface and weather condition a car can be subjected to during its long lifetime, including a fully equipped public highway within the area. The tests are carefully planned and computer monitored. In just a few months, cars are aged as much as during the entire anticipated lifetimes of the vehicles in normal traffic, thanks to test drivers working around the clock. The car's active safety system is also tested at the facility. A special rig has been developed just to test the pedestrian detection system that should detect pedestrians and apply the brakes if the driver doesn't react in time. You can see the full video here on our Motors pages.